By 1955, the B-Monster movie craze was off in earnest. Inspired specifically by Ray Harryhausen's effects work in The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, producer Charles Schneer conceived of a monster movie after seeing an atomic bomb explosion, imagining it awakening a massive creature that crawled out from the ocean and destroyed the Golden Gate Bridge. With that image in mind, Schneer set out to make his own picture, with Harryhausen in charge of bringing the creature to life. Titled It Came From Beneath the Sea, the film went on to be a massive box office success, further cementing then-audiences' appetites for larger-than-life escapism. When a nuclear submarine survives an encounter with an exceptionally large unknown entity, Commander Pete Matthews calls in Professor Leslie Joyce and John Carter, a pair of marine biologists, to analyze tissue left over by the creature. Together, they conclude that it belongs to a giant octopus, made radioactive and driven up from the depths of the ocean by the atomic bomb testings in the area. While Pete and the Navy are initially skeptical, strange disappearances of ships in the Pacific lend credence to their theory, until eventually the creature appears off the coast of Oregon. Oregon, after which it becomes a race against time to kill the monster before it reaches its next destination, San Francisco. <laughs> Upon first viewing, It Came From Beneath the Sea doesn't exactly make the greatest impression. An extended opening on a submarine drags on for far too long, and the over-reliance on cheesy 50s-style narration robs the film of any sense of organic storytelling. However, once the plot gets going in earnest, and the three main characters are finally established, the film improves significantly. And once the giant octopus makes its long-awaited appearance, it manages to become a pretty entertaining, though not especially exceptional, creature feature that should scratch the itch of those who love the movie from this time period. While perhaps not quite as flashy as his work in The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, Ray Harryhausen's effects are just as impressive here. The film's monster, a giant octopus, is a decent change of pace from the more expected dinosaur, and is used very sparingly. But when one of its tentacles makes an appearance, it is suitably menacing, as it crushes cars and people alike. Its attack on the Golden Gate Bridge is of course the standout, and serves as the film's major action set piece. Yes, it's all a bit stagey and kind of flat by today's standards, but for the time, it's quite spectacular as is its subsequent rampage along the shores of San Francisco. It is by far the highlight of the film, and leaves it off with a bang. Character-wise, It Came From Beneath the Sea is a mixed bag. On the other hand, the film's three leads are all given plenty to do, but the way in which they are written sometimes doesn't quite work. This is mostly attributable to the forced romance that occurs between Pete and Leslie, played by Kenneth Toby and Faith Domergue, respectively. The two don't have much chemistry, and yet the film goes out of its way to have them romantically involved, which is a shame because, aside from this, the two are pretty good, especially Faith Domergue, who gives Leslie a strong and wily personality that in some ways feels ahead of its time. At no point does she become a damsel in distress, which makes for a nice change of pace in a time when women fainted more often than not at the sight of a monster. Hello, John. It struck. Where? Golden Gate Bridge. The biggest thing holding the film back is just how much of a carbon copy it is of The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. It follows almost all the same beats, just on a smaller budget, and with a less remarkable monster. The film also suffers from a lot of padding, particularly in the first act. As mentioned, the opening scene on board a submarine in which Pete and his crew have an off-screen encounter with the octopus is robbed of any potential tension or sense of claustrophobia by mediocre flat direction. Because of this, it feels agonizingly slow, to the point where you just want the film Film to get on with it. Thankfully, the film does improve once you get past this point, but it's a major hurdle to get through. Oh. What's going on? Yeah, what? The bus, I dig that. Those that stick with it to the end, though, should find It Came From Beneath the Sea to be a pretty decent old-school monster movie. Ray Harryhausen's giant octopus is obviously the highlight, a wondrously articulated and menacing monstrosity, and while the first act has major pacing issues, things pick up quite a bit once the mystery surrounding the creature takes center stage, guided by a trio of memorable characters that you grow to like more as the film goes along. It may be too old and slow for some, but for anyone with a mind for monsters and mayhem, along with that American B-movie charm exclusive to the 50s, the film mostly delivers, and it's thus well worth your time. For more reviews and opinions on all things kaiju, subscribe and stay tuned to Up From The Depths.